Thanks for joining Planet RVN with Jane RVN for some more OSCE tips for student vet nurses and clinical coaches. Hi, this is the PCV. So I have already selected a blue tube because I do not want any anticoagulant. I have selected my EDTA sample and I am gently rolling it either between my palms or inverting it like so up and down either is acceptable. Once the sample is fully mixed and you are ready to upload your sample choose your plain tube. Put it in at a slight angle because you want the blood to slowly wick up the tube and it needs to go about three quarters of the way up the tube so that you get enough sample for a reading that's going to make life easier for you. Note that I am using the holes on either side of the crystal seal to hold my tubes nicely in place. Put your finger on the end, hold the tube and wipe and then place in the crystal seal at least twice to get a decent plug and repeat. I want to fill this about three quarters full so I'm holding my fingers where I think it will be and you might need to tip the tube depending on how good the blood is about three quarters full so I'm gonna hold I'm gonna wipe and I'm gonna press and put that back in and then I am going to repeat for a second one. So this balances your centrifuge or you could use an empty to balance your centrifuge. So it's being quite slow so I'm just going to tip hold at a little angle. This balances your centrifuge. And keep your finger on the end, pop in twice and off we go. And I can get rid of that. So I would now spin these down. In your exam, you don't have to spin them down. I'm going to put the lid back on here. So that's safe. My gloves are contaminated. So I am going to change gloves. So then these get spun down and then I get one to read. Set the centrifuge to 10,000 RPM for five minutes but do not turn it on you're going to be given a pre-spun tube to read. 10,000 for five. Once you've spun down your sample it's now time to read it. This read is slightly different as it doesn't have a line across the middle to help you read it, but it works the same way. So place your capillary tube in the holder, line up the 0% across the top of the plug, the 100% is at the top of your serum, and then take your reading from the top of the red blood cells, and you're going to need to write it down as PCV with percentage because that's the unit so I know it's not a calculation but do not forget your units so you can move the capillary tube holder up and down to get it in the right place this one's pretty much sitting in the right place which is very handy you'll find that if you always fill it three quarters full for the capillary tube a reminder of your reading so the top of the plug is at zero percent the top of the serum is at a hundred percent and then move the silver reader line so that it intersects with the top of the red blood cells and that will give you your percentage reading and remember to record it as a percentage. This one comes out at 52 to 53, I went with 53 but 52 would pass as well. I can't say it often enough, remember to record with units and make it really clear for your examiner. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like new videos emailed to you. Join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at JaneRVN or janerVN.com for videos, blogs and more.